Hmm, I'm looking online and I'm seeing things. You rocking with casual quick notes. We're gonna talk the truth. Come and like that. You see, look, Andrade is my favorite fighter, man. I mean, he's so technical. He got so many different attributes, man. He's really good, man. Jab, power punch, good hooks. He got great ring IQ, man. Good feet, good stamina, and great power. But Selecki, my guy, man. Selecki got hand speed, full work, and the way he moves around that ring and he lets his hands go, man. This is going to be a tough fight this is gonna be a good fight this is gonna be a good test for my boy Andre man I think Andre gotta pull out all the stops you understand me you know because Andre can get into the middle rounds and start to slow up start to wait I need Andre to press the action and be focused and be the aggressor and be first because Selecki got the better hand speed Selecki is faster Selecki footwork is better in my opinion, I mean, I think Selecki was giving my boy, you dig, Danny Jacobs a uh, run for his money, man. He was moving and shaking with that boy. I'm like, yo, so hold on. Jacobs, when you going to get busy, playboy, what's going on? He tapping you up. You see me? But I think Andre, Andre is a better fighter than uh, my boy Danny uh, Jacobs. And Danny, Danny my dude. Danny, Danny, Danny my guy, but I'm going to call him down the middle. I think Andre just got a little bit, uh, he's just a little bit better. You understand me in different parts of the boxing game i think he got a better jab he, he's more focused and he's more determined and he doesn't mind going and shooting on the front foot and being first but andre does have the moments man when he start lacking and slacking in the middle part of the fight and you don't want selecty to let his hands go and collect points because he's faster bro you understand what i'm saying so this is going to be a pick and fight man and i'm telling you right now i don't know what the odds is going to be man but it can be a upset if you look at you know slucky as a uh a b-level fighter if you look at him as the underdog in this fight i call it even man because both guys got different skill sets to bring to the table man it's going to be a good fight man but you got to understand as Selecki shoots his jabs or uses combinations, the best thing for Boo Boo Andre to do is to catch him while he's throwing combinations because Andre can lay you down. And that's it's going to be uh, where I think Andre going to have success. Allow, not do not allow, but when you know, select you let shoot those combinations at you, catch him in the middle, man, with those hooks or straight down the pipe, and you will drop him easy early. You will drop him, and I think he got enough power to knock him out with a one hit a quitter type of thing, man. He got up versus Jacobs and didn't start working. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. It's going to be a great fight, man. This is one of the fights that I'm looking forward to, man. I just want to know y'all thoughts on it. Who you think going to win this fight? I'm not going to pick. I'm not going to put my money on the wood. Now, you know I'm a confident individual. You see what I'm saying? When I'm picking somebody, I'm picking somebody. But there's some fights where I'm going to leave my money off the table. <laughs> I'm going to leave my money off the table. You see what I'm saying? I got so many bets on, on your day riding right now. You know, we got the Keith Thurman, Pacquiao. I'm picking Pacquiao. We got the, you know, the way Bully Sean Porter. I'm picking Porter. And that bet, the bets are coming in heavy. I tell you, I do. Hold on. Fall back. Be easy. I'm going to get back to all y'all dudes. I don't like to bet with too many cats early you know before the fight even you day like a month out i want to bet you know take bets a week out i took five bets already but you know a week out two weeks out i got you i see you you ain't going nowhere playboy you understand what i'm saying my dude rob hold your head i got you dog we got some things to do you understand me so i got so many bets out there but this fight i can't bet on man because i can see selecty winning you understand me? And I can also see Boo Boo winning too. And I think Boo Boo could win by a 12-round decision and no one would knock him down. But I also can see, I don't see Selecki knocking out Boo Boo. But I do see him uh, winning a 12-round decision. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's very tricky. But at the end of the day, nobody really talking about this fight, man. I'm a boxing fan. This is what I do, man. But at the end of the day, let me know what you think, man. Is you riding with Selecki or you riding with Boo Boo Andre, man? What's shaking? What's good? Because, you know, I think Triple G should be fighting Andre. Real talk, that's the fight he should have before getting in the ring with uh, Canelo because Canelo fought Danny, a, a, a really great fighter, you dig? On his level type of fighter. And then you fought some bum and you knocked them out easy early and it was a beautiful thing now you want to go right into the canelo fight now i understand the optics you know the money is there you know the zone need that money the zone need a big fight like that to boost the app even more you understand what i'm saying but i think that um you know like my boy delahoya said go fight somebody real then holler at me man because there's no real incentive for canelo canelo money is guaranteed basically but i don't know how to 
contracts was negotiated like look you fight this guy you fight that guy then you give us the money fight with triple g so maybe they just talking and thinking about money and not thinking about the actual fights but i think triple g should go into a fight with andre and i also think canelo should get in the ring now with charlo i think it's about time now you know i used to be the of the belief that you know charlo hasn't been been in the ring with anybody but you know at the end of the day they're not gonna be in the ring with anybody they're gonna continue to fight b-level guys man you understand what i'm saying so that's the fight to be that to happen and i think charlo i mean canelo gonna wash charlo easy earlier man just look at these guys man i said these guys are good but they their downfall is their competition when you don't have top competition you tend to not fight up to the competition when you get in the ring with it you see what i'm saying and canelo's seen it all man he's seen the aggressive style he's seen the boxes he he's seen the heavy punches he got a great chain he's a boxer he's a mover he's a a guy that can fell in the back so canelo is the best in boxing today nobody on his level in his weight class point blank period you understand me i don't see bobo rocking with him and then andre my guy you dig you dig so and danny couldn't didn't do what he had to do because this canelo is just that good man i mean he's learned so much from fighting different styles that he perfected what he needs to do to win you dig what i'm saying and i'm not gonna accredit that to floyd mayweather man i'm gonna credit that to who he's been in the ring with and that's what i'm telling you guys man these other guys they haven't been in the ring with anybody to actually you know compare and contrast and i know we all got our favorite fighters man but we at some point gotta say listen man you're right bro this dude really hasn't fought anybody so we can say yeah man he's been in the ring with that style or that style man look what happened sunday man kata <laughs> you know what I mean, Kaka? He fighting Charlo, supposed to be a champion, number one. You understand me? Come on, bro. We can't be having fights like that, and we can't be supporting fights like that, and, and making it like it's okay for these guys to be fighting this type of opposition, especially when they talking about they lions only and things of this nature, right? The only guy that's fighting. Gonna start fighting the uh, top level competition is the way Billy Spence and it starts with my boy Sean Porter But I think my boy Sean Porter gonna roll right over him. You see what I'm saying? Because he's overconfident you know, I can see he's overconfident from the conversation that he had with that one cocksucker box of conversations He feel like listen, you know, I'm gonna walk right through him. I'm gonna ease him I'm gonna wash him out easy early and I'm like, okay, cool Nobody washed uh, Porter out easy early. Nobody point blank period you know what happened was porter fought yugas and he did exactly what uh um uh spence did with mikey porter used his boxing ability on the back foot and out side to side used his aggression when he needed to right same thing the way bully spence did box in out jab jab trying to show that he got ring iq and he's a great boxer he's listening to the fans and the fans are dictating what he does next but for this fight here sean porter you got to be aggressive you got to be a dog nobody wants to be in the ring with you because you head button you hitting low you hitting behind the head you hitting on the body you hitting on the arms and that's going to disrupt the way bully spence he never seen this type of action but i'm happy you're taking the fight so i don't have no issues with the way Bully Spence plans. His plans are, as he stated in the video with the cocksucker, Porter, winner Keith Thurman, Pacquiao, Crawford. If that's your line of uh, that's how you want to move and shake to get the uh, Crawford, I'm not mad at you because those are great fights. And no one can tell me that they are 100% sure that he's going to get past Porter or the winner of Pacquiao or Keith Thurman. Both fighters both fighters will give Spence a run for their money. And both fighters have attributes that will bother the way Bully Spence. Keith Thurman, heavy puncher, good boxer, on the back toe, good fighter that know how to set traps. When he's on his back foot, he set traps. I can't wait to break down the, uh, Pacquiao, Keith Thurman. That's going to be something to break down, man, because both guys do similar things, and we're going to talk about that. And then we got Pacquiao. That's a mover, fast hands, fast feet, power puncher, a guy that's been in the ring with legends, more experience. So I think he's not going to just roll through these guys, man. He may take a loss before even getting the Crawford. You see what I'm saying? You know, taking a loss to, before getting the Crawford probably wouldn't even stop the Crawford fight because Crawford don't have anybody to fight. I'll leave you with this, man. Doing the interview, watching the interview with the way Bully Spence, he just seemed a little bit arrogant, right? And I'm not mad. Cool. Be arrogant. Talk your talk. Throw your money in the air and all like that. Do that. I'm, I'm cool. But the arrogance that I'm talking about is the fact that he's like, yeah, I'm going to walk through Sean Porter. And then I'm going to walk through the Pacquiao or Keith Thurman. And then I'm going to smash out uh, Crawford. You see what I'm saying? That's gangster. That's my I, I'm with you. That's cool. But then he goes like, yeah, you know, Sean Porter can't sell. 
you know, I, I, you know, I'm the top dog at 147. No one can beat me even at 60. percent I never showed you guys 100. percent You understand? Like things like that. I'm like, bro, you act like you fought killers, my nigga. Like, who have you fought to have all this confidence, my dude? Look, you're not fighting, seeing D-level guys anymore. You're going up in in competition. Competition is is really it's it's a different type of competition when you're dealing with Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, Pacquiao, and even Danny Garcia, man. So when he be talking. I'd be like, yo, who has he fought? He must have been fighting some killers out there, right? But he haven't. And I'm like, yeah, okay, but there ain't nothing wrong with having confidence in, the, in, in your abilities. Like he always say, you got confidence in his abilities. And I'm not mad at him. Now you got to prove it. Holla at your boy. Rock with your boy. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs>